Hi, it's Janice Johnson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland and uh, today I, it's Sunday stamp, it's Sunday stampin' maybe not a lot of stampin', I don't know but just give me a moment to find myself here I've still not sussed out what's actually going on with YouTube and me just now but hopefully so hi Valerie hiya in you come let me just make myself a space it's like I totally disorganized I was busy working on getting my uh, class in the post all ready to get out in the post this week and suddenly I realized oh it's time for my life so busy busy today so of course now it's giving me an advert which I don't want thank you go away anyway hello everybody I hope you're all well and I hope your Sunday's going okay so who's here already so Valerie hiya Karen hiya Carol hiya and Randy hiya come away in and get a wee seat by the fire make sure you close the door because it's very windy uh, you don't want to get blown away so it's just nice to see you all is that uh, right no everything's moving it's just because I had my hands still while well. I was talking hi Heather and you come stamp with Nelly Heather so I've been playing with drapery fold and I've sort of worked out measurements so I thought on my life today we could just test out and see if my measurements work would that be a good idea so I'm just going to pop them up here I mean if you want to take I'll, I'll leave them there for a minute because I may or may not get around to blogging you know what I'm like but um, if you want to take a screenshot of my measurements I'm okay with that if they make sense to you or not anyway so I'm going to pop them over here I don't know if any of you have done a drapery fold before so I have what have I got here what's that called Lost Lagoon and some gorgeous great um, card around I've got some white layers I've got a load more white layers I'll just leave that I'm not sure about card base at the moment so I've got a layer that I'm going to work on and what I want is the card that I need not the card the designer series paper it, it's going to go along I want something with a good contrast I think this one first let's work with this one because it's got this gorgeous 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 grape at the back and these lovely lavender fronts what I'm just not sure how it will pan out I think this one could be the one to work with first and see what happens hi Shaz and you come I hope I've said hello to everybody the minute I come on I start sniffing and I haven't been sniffing all day what's that about Right, so I want to cut a piece of designer series paper which is 10 centimetres deep that way and 24 that way. So get ones. I have worked out inches too. Good. But that's for, our, for my friends across the pond need to fit their card base size and into their envelopes so as I say I, I, I do intend to blog this but I've let you copy the measurements if you need them you can take a screenshot you know that you can watch this video on the replay and take a you know if you didn't get a screenshot there just now you'll be able to get one later Oh, you've got this paper too Randy yes yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty right I need this to be 24 centimeters long so which means I have to get the arm out so thankfully I did clear a bit of my desk so that there's room for the arm to be out 
So 24 centimetres I've worked out that out to be. I did play around a bit to get this to do what I wanted it to do. So let's see what happens. Now I do need my trimmer to stay because I never got on with the centimetre scorer. So what you need to do first is I need to mark three centimetres along here. Do I have a pencil? Would that have been sensible to have a pencil ready? Am I sensible? There we go. Oh, we've got a Piddles pencil. Right, so I want three centimetres along the bottom. Now, I'm going to get in a fiddle there with my with that so I'm just going to use my glass mat How, would you like to have a glass mat like mine I'm going to mark three centimeters there at the bottom and here I want two centimeters down make sure that's straight hey Helen in you come two centimeters down here I've just made a little pencil mark. Now I'm going to bring this into my tool here and I can get that one on the groove and that mark on the groove. I'm not sure you'll be able to see them but believe me. So I'm cutting a diagonal cut from the two centimetres down the right hand side to that three centimetres along the left hand bottom and I'll weaken it off and that bit I'll use for something else one day all right so now I need to make my scores so I'm just following my own instructions how dangerous I live right so three oh she's cut it is anybody laughing right now because I'm not and you, you can laugh, it's allowed. Laugh, laugh. Okay. Oh, I've got another piece of paper here. And I'll just cut that to 10 by 24. <laughs> oh, well, it's going to be one of those afternoons. And... So those of you who bought my class in the post, you might be able to use some of your bits and pieces to do this card as well, if there's any bits left over when you've made the cards in the class. Right, 24 by 10, pay attention Janice. Okay, and then there's the pencil. I whoops, Heather, whoops story of my life. Right, we'll try again here. One little mark at three centimetres. It should be in the post sometime this week, Helen. I'm just waiting for the delivery from Stampin' Up because I'm short of a few things to put in. Namely the, the gems, I think. Right, and two centimetres down, three along. Cut this and then after that it's score Janice not. So I'll have to think of things to do with all these bits that I've chopped off. Right, pay attention. Talk amongst yourselves till I get this right. Right, this bit is cut. Boom. Next bit is score, so let's put the cutting blade down the bottom out of the way. Right, first score at three centimetres. This is actually easy to do, it's just me that made it all a bit complicated. Three, four, six, seven, Mm 
nine. Ten. Twelve. Can you see the pattern now? Twelve. I do like a number pattern. Thirteen. Fifteen. Now on this, I don't know if you can see that, so I'm going to pull that down a little. On this cut and score machine, the 16 is right on the bit where the arm joins. So 16, 18, 19. 21 and 22 and there we go I've done my scores put this out of the way just now and we'll see if we can do this so basically what I'm making is a curtain for my card. So I'm going to score it, fold that back on itself and then bring that one that way. Where's my score? That's not right. Why is that? Have I done something wrong or have I just missed one? I think I've missed one. Oh, what makes me think that I can show people? I think I missed. Right, so I did three and four. And then six. I don't think the six, I don't think I scored the six. Six. And seven, yeah, that's I missed the six for some reason. Did no one notice? Right. So there, that goes that way, and then bring that one that way, and that one that way. Some of them I've not scored very hard. It's it's a balance because if you score too hard, you tear your paper. If you score too soft, you can't see your score. But you can see them on the back easier. So just basically concertining, who spent hours doing stuff like that in school. So that's going to be a wee curtain really. And it's going to go on the layer of my card like that. What do you think? Seems to be a bit wide, but I think once it's all stuck down it's about right. So. We need to put a little bit of tape, I'm thinking in this instance a bit of tear and tape will work quite well. So I stop, I'm going to stop and draw breath and say hello. I've said hello to a few people but have you all got a wee seat by the fire and have you shut the door firmly because the wind keeps blowing it. And get yourself something from the table, keep warm. So yeah I think I got to so I'll just start again and say hello to everybody. So hi Valerie, you are first in the door. Uh, hi Karen, hi Carol, hi Randy, hi Heather, hi Shaz, hi Lani, hi Carol, hi Helen, hi Kenzie. I think that's everybody this time, yeah. So, so what we want to do is we want these pleats to stay in so I am just going to pop a bit of tape on that bit, the thin bit. It doesn't need to be all the way down, it's just a bit. It's just it holds it. We'll put something on the back. Hi Shirley.
quite windy tonight. Not like as bad as it's been in the storms, but maybe this is extra work. Maybe I should have got my seal out. <laughs> it's a little bit wider, that's the problem in it. When I was practicing, I kept getting it a bit squint. Yeah. Right, so now my hope is that this will come off. Where is my Where's my pokey tool? I think that's really the best thing. So you always make sure it's really rubbed down well. And then just... We'll be putting some on the back that will hold the whole thing. Oh yeah, I'm not long started, Claire. So, in you come, in you come. Welcome to anyone who's not been here before, or who's not said hello before. It's just, sometimes people watch for quite a long time before they say hello, but that's okay, that's alright. But you get more out of it if you come and talk to the ladies and sit by the fire with them all. And guys, it's not all just ladies. this years ago and it was just playing about with a bit of card and working out how deep the pleats um, need to be. So I'm just going to pop a piece across the back that will hold it all there. Get the cosy fires there, don't worry. I'm going to stick one across there. I'm just making it up now. I can't remember what I did before. So I did it at a height here so that it's like about two thirds of the way up my card and then I'll put my sentiment up there. Why did I not put some tape on there? Any ideas? <laughs> right, let's take the backing off this and see if we can manage to assemble it. easily the rest of it lifted. Okay. So just take your time. Get right to the edge of your paper layer, she says. Come on, I want it to be straight. So there you go, it's curtains. <laughs> so that's kind of the basic of where we're going. Now I have two possible ribbons here. Now this is the pretty peacock and gold, which is in the new spring mini catalogue. I call it spring mini, but I know that's not what it's called. But, but also we've got this lovely ribbon that matches here, the Lost Lagoon. Now this is in the annual catalogue. This is really pretty so I'm going to go for it because I haven't used much of it and if I'm being honest I need that pretty peacock for something else. <laughs> oh there's something going on around here. Right so I'll just cut myself a piece of this. Yeah the purple's just the thing isn't it? Just I don't have any gorgeous grape ribbon and I know if I've got white I could make some, I get that, but let's just go with this, that's a bit too much. But 
Right. Excuse me a wee moment. I've got, I've got a sore knee and it's because my chair's not in the right position. Right, so since I've got my, I very rarely use tear and tape. I'm not, I don't know if you look back. I don't think you'll have seen me use it very often. And I do have a seal. I just thought it was just that wee bit thinner than the seal and would fit in my thin plates that I've devised. You'll see people do. If you look on YouTube and Pinterest, there's tons of tons of them um, tutorials. But very few of them are in centimetres and very few of them are as slim as these. I quite like the slim. It's nice, isn't it? Right. And then we'll see if we can get that off and then we'll pop some ribbon. That'll hold the ribbon in place and then we can decide what else we're putting on here. I'm thinking sentiment and some kind of decoration so let's see I want it to be just so that it just hides the top of the paper really now you could get all OCD and measure that bit and measure that bit but just if it looks nice it looks nice to me righty ho now I need to decide, is this going to be on? Oh. I think it might be nice to do it on gorgeous grape and draw out the purple in the plates. There's nothing going on in the background here. I have no heaters on here, Emma. Although, if, you, if I listen, see I've got some hearing loss, but if I listen very carefully, I think my na next door neighbour's washing machine might be on, so it might have been in a spin. See, sometimes you get, you know, the, the phone picks up things that I don't hear. I have a fair bit of hearing loss. which provides no end of entertainment because I miss hear things all the time so that that's where I'm going with this but I think if I'm going to stamp on any of this then I'll do it now now would you have got your stamp sets out ready before you started this here. Right, so where's my um, painted lavender? There it is. I just don't, I'm, I mean, I'm just thinking, you know, if we're working with a sweet, then it's good to. Oh, look, I'm wondering. I've got some butterflies there. And the other stamp set that's in the sweet, this is a sweet that has two bundles in it, the perennial postage one. Would I use one of those sentiments or would I go for what I did? It's this annual catalogue set, which I don't use enough. What about this? Isn't that lovely? I think we'll just use this one for a... And I'm going to stamp in gorgeous grape and really pull that. Right, so it's it has been in the background, but I'm very sorry, but I can't control. My, my husband's quietly sitting watching TV in another room. I'm pretty sure our washing load was finished. 
Right, so what would you think? I'm always needing thank you. But you see, you've got this, this gorgeous, gorgeous phone. Pretty, pretty, isn't it? Right, and then we'll do some flowers or butterflies in there. These lifeguard houses are quite interesting, Lanny. Right, so I put all my designer series papers that I've been using here over the top of my box of blocks, but I've managed to find this. Of course, because I've got this tape going here, it's okay because of it. This is I'm working on my glass mat, <laughs> where it's not a problem. Right, so what did I say? Gorgeous grape ink. So folks, once I'm finished at 7 o'clock, you should be able to catch my trussel crafts. They're usually live at 7 on a Sunday. So if you're looking for someone else to watch and some other, some other amazing <laughs> crafting, <laughs> I'm sure you will get that. There. Right, so I'm going to pop just, just a bit there. Metuso Crafts. M I T U S O Crafts. So it's Jay and Barry. They're usually on straight after me on YouTube. So you'll, they're so such fun and they're amazing crafters. Right, so what we're going to put in here, we're going to have butterflies or some greenery or a bit of everything. We'll have a bit of everything, won't we? And butterflies. So we'll get our lost lagoon as well in here. Could somebody come and tidy my desk up a little, please? I was kind of under control and I've been keeping it clean all day because I've been cutting and chopping. And... Oh, hi, Debbie, in you come. You're welcome. It's not school, you know. You don't need a note for being late. You just come when you can. We'll be happy to have you. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. I try to look as if I do, but... Hi Barry! There you go, now you know how to spell Matuso Crafts because Barry's just put it on the bottom there. Right. Let's take that off. And then I think we'll pop, I don't think I'll get a third out of that, but we'll try. Yeah, it's very faint in the background. Then I think, of course, we can have some purple butterflies. Because that's what makes me happy. Oh, Emma, I need to get crafting. Maybe once, are you starting a new job this week? Once you get started, you'll find a routine. The, this little butterfly stamp, you could you could have stamp surgery and cut, set them apart, but actually, I just quite like it as it is. Butterflies, there you go. Oh, 
which glue is going to work. I think my glue took the huff because I used tape. Oh, here we go. <sighs> it's your dinner. It's always your dinner time. <laughs> you must eat at the same time every Sunday. <laughs> Good stuff. Good to have a routine. Thanks for popping in anyway, surely enjoy dinner. I'm just sticking this down now. And I should have, I did have, yeah, I have a few of the shimmer gems here. I don't have a lot because I've been divvying them out for my class. Leave it at that for that one, and it will need a need a liner inside. Seem to have a little crumb on it. That may have come from something I ate earlier. Oh, I was going to stamp on that. Oh, hi, Pauline. I'm actually think I've got time to do another one, so I'll pick a different paper and see how we go. Do something from flight and what, what's the this celebration paper maybe I don't know. Let's just I've got tape the back of the tape. I can do. See if I just finish and then I go through. And have some dinner. Well, why don't you just sneak in and tidy up? Send the fairies. Or am I just living in fairyland? Nice. Yeah, I've got an idea to do a double curtain one so that we have like a stage effect, but I'm not there yet in my head. Alright. Blue. My brain couldn't remember what we were having. Really. We've got a bit of a wobble going on here because my de this is why the glass mat is so good. My desk is very old. I believe it's much older than I am. It's an old oak desk. And it's not even. But when I'm stamping with the glass mat, I'm getting much better images because it's flat and doesn't have dents in it. It's got an even surface, which is great. And you see I stamped just with a photopolymer one and I didn't need a foam mat or anything like that. This just deals with it. So there you go, there's a card. That's pretty, isn't it? Do I go on and use different paper or should I just use... Let me just... We'll just have a very quick look. I don't know if any of these... That's so pretty, isn't it? But it's what's underneath. It's, both sides have to really work. That would... I'll do it once more. Have I got time? What's the time? Okay, so I've got time if I don't make any mistakes. We'll make one with the birds, why not? They make good. Oh, hi Ruth, in you come. So we're doing, for anyone who's just come in, we're doing drapery fold. 
and I came up with my own measurements for centimetres and nice, nice um, narrow folds. You get ones that got broader folds, but I went for narrow, more labour intensive, of course. So let, let's just play with this gorgeous free paper. So you spend £45 in either of the current catalogues and you can choose this pack of paper free. What is it called? Flight and Eerie or something like that. Yeah. Flight and Eerie and it's all about birds. I love that print. But I just don't think that would give me enough contrast on a curtain drapery fold. Right, so tell me again, what do we need measurement wise? Was it 10 by 24? See if I'm right. Oh, my scrap looks the same size as it was that other one. Right, and then it's two centimeters. Right, just on the tip of his tail there. I'll try not kill any birds. And then three along the bottom so three centimeters along the bottom two centimeters down and if you work in inches and you're from the USA and you want to do this card in your measurements if you take a, I did put the measurements up earlier and you can take a screenshot and you'll get your inches that and that will fit on a card that fits in your envelopes. Does that make sense? <laughs> right, so I need my, I do need my note to get my scores because I didn't quite get that the last one. So there you go again, I'll hold it once more. If you want to do a screenshot, go ahead. Right, I where I can see it though. Right, so I'm going to put my cutting blade out of the way because we all know what happened earlier. So three is the first score. And using this bit at the top to make sure that you're at right angles and it's nice and straight. So three, four, like a number sequence. 12, 13, 15. The inches ones are, yeah, you do have fractions, but they're nothing smaller than a quarter. You're no eights in it. Where was I? 15, 16 as I say, that's right on the crack there between the arm and the thing. 18. Nineteen. Twenty-one. Hi Heather! And Jackie, I didn't see you guys come in, hello. And anyone else who's lurking, hello, come in. Get a seat by the fire. Make sure that door's shut because that wind is terrible. It will take it off its hinges. Um, yeah. Get something from the fire. Don't, don't get something from the fire. Get something from the table and a drink. Right, so now we've done all our folds. And we can get... Amazing trimmer out of the way just now. So that's so we bring it forward, back, forward, forward, back, forward, back, just to make the folds. Oops. And that's 
that. I wonder this time we'll have a go to see if I've got a seal here. If you find that sometimes your seal doesn't run as well as you'd like it to, if you do it on this, it usually works. Once you get it started, of course. Right, so don't want a lot, just enough to hold it. Because my eyesight's not as good. It's about as good as my hearing. I don't have a sense of smell yet either, and my sense of taste is not fantastically um, good either, so I've not got a lot going for me yet. I do have an eye for colour though, so there you go. <laughs> Oops, I can make a card. So right, so then it's just fold it over. Making sure it's quite straight, and that's how you have to be careful when you're doing your scores. That you're nice and straight. And that's where our trimmer is really good if you have it butted up. And if you're doing your inches, you, if you use the score tool, it's fab for that. I mean, you can go in and do these ones too if you wanted to. You know you can. does help it to stay put. Oh, those ones are coming under. And that's because I'm doing this. No, quarter inches are okay to work with. Whoops. There and then that'll keep that one flat too. Right, so see. So then I need a white, just as well, I keep a pile of these layers, and that's going to go in there. So I can, now, for some reason, that seems to be. Well, so I've got one. That's, that's okay because we can trim that off anyway. Right. Now you will have to take your time because of, especially if you use seal, just take your time and get it straight. I have no idea if I cut that a little bit longer than it needs to be maybe or just didn't quite get that last score but it's fine and nobody will be any the wiser if I just go doo -doo -doo. Don't even go into, I'm not even going to overthink that. Right, so I don't know what I'm going to put in there but I'm just going to make this into another thank you card but obviously now I want a colour that's on here. And I'm thinking that's boho blue or misty moonlight. Oh, which is it? Misty moonlight's in there too, and boho blue. I think misty moonlight will show up better for my sentiment. Give me an idea of what you want me to decorate in there. Well, we can just have some blue lavender, couldn't we? We've got, yeah, let's not overthink it and pull out too many stamp suits. Right, somewhere here on my, yeah, have some chamois. So, clean off the stamps and where's the rest of this? some lavender on this, this wee bunchy here. I'm going to shut that door. I told you if you don't shut the door, the wind just keeps moving it. Big decisions, big decisions. I 
I might use that. Right. Kenzie, just join up. Seriously. Seriously, just join up and get your glass mat. It's the best thing ever. You won't regret it. Hey, Miss, on you come. Got a wee seat by the fire. Did you shut the door behind you? Because it's really windy and it's banging. Will you all budge up and let Nessa in? And get her a wee drink. Oh, look at that. That goes really well, doesn't it? Say yes, Janice. That goes really well. something different here. I have got the cloth for this bit, but I think it's under that big pile over there. And the other wee, this one just gives it more texture. Where is it? colour, this gives it all a bit more texture. And a bit more of a stock so there's not breaks in the stock, otherwise I'd have to go and get the green one and put the stock in, but that's cool. That's fine like that on there. So since we're using, I think I'll use bubble bath for the card base to be honest. I've got bubble bath in the paper so let's... Is that bubble bath or is it fresh freezer? Somebody tell me. We've got both, haven't we? Right. We have both. So we can have bubble. Oh, hi, Hazel, in you come. Budge up and let Hazel in. The decision is, are we having a, a misty moonlight card base or a bubble bath card base? I'm just reaching. Okay, folks, you need to tell me. Misty Moonlight, Bubble Bath, Cascasy, which one? Yeah, I'm thinking that too. Yeah, the blue is the one. Yep. I'm glad to hear you're all thinking like me. Well, I could do that, but I have to trim this down. 
Well, let's go with Nesta. I think that might be a good idea. I'm going to go with Nesta. A misty border on a pink card, maybe. If not, I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll, we'll take it a stage further. Let's just score, Janice. Score. Score. So, because I can trim this down, so if that was a misty moonlight border on a pink card, what say you? And that pulls both the main colours that I've got in there. Yeah? Okay, that's what we'll do. Right, so we have to trim this down, so we'll go in here and take this to 9.7. The only thing is it's going to make this, because I aimed that at the middle, I wonder if I should just take 2 millimetres off there. Of here. Oh, it's a fine balance, isn't it? And then take that to 14. This will work. I've just chopped the butterfly in half, so please don't judge me. The free paper, honestly, is so pretty. I love it. Right, which glue was working? Do you know? Well, what was me that one? Oh, I forgot ribbon. Oh. Ribbon do I have? Completely forgotten I've got glue on here. Does it need ribbon? See this seersucker, the free one, it is so gorgeous. This one will just have to be without ribbon. I'll think of something later. Unless I glue it on here and have the ribbon going round here. This ribbon actually even looks Oh gosh, I've got an avalanche! <laughs> oh, oh, look! Butterflies and everything! That doesn't look too bad, does it? Even, I mean it's the green, I don't know what other ribbon I would have. Anything else is just... No, I'm not, I don't really want to get in. No, I, I, I like it to be ribbon. Yeah, you could put, a, I mean, you could, in that theory, put a strip, but um, it just doesn't have the look of ribbon. What have I got in blue up here? Actually, boho blue. We're all right, we've got boho blue up here. I've got that, this one. 
and that picks up the boho blue from the birdies. I'm okay. I'm all right now. As I say, kind of got a thing about colour coordination because that's what brought me to stamping up in the first place. <sighs> you know, I'm okay now. Right, where is this? Where is this? <laughs> It's here. See, because I've not got my silicone under it. Right. I feel better if it's all coordinated. This is beautiful ribbon, I have to say. I've not been using it. I've got it in all these, all the end colours. I really need to be using it. Because they might take it away when the annual catalogue changes. These colours are staying, but they might take the ribbon away. Beautiful, it's like a moquette. Right. Okay, so let's finish this card and then we can all go watch my Tussle Crafts. I will probably watch them while I'm sorting dinner. to go around where the ribbon is so it all stays put. Oh you need to use some hazel. But I tend not to demonstrate things that I have retired but just because I want people to buy and I don't like it and they say oh can I get that and I go oh, sorry you can't have that. But if you're a collector of stamping things, then it's not an issue for you. I mean, you can add more to that. You can have a wee bow, you can, you know, I'm just going to hold this till it. This needs an insert. Two, I've got two minutes to do an insert. Oh, right. right, do it. I don't have two minutes, of course, as long as I like, but I just like to get off and let my Chuso Crafts come on. I'm really happy with these. I just want to find what I'm going to stamp in this card. You know, I just I've got these bitties here. I'll just do a bit. I thought that was um, a mark, but it was a bit of fluff. enjoyed this not as messy as some Sundays but I just needed just to kind of keep it clean today And I'm happy that my measurements worked and I could follow my own instructions because that's always something, isn't it? So who's going to have a go at drapery fold? me with the perennial lavender DSP and then one with the flight and airy. So I hope you'll have a wee go. 
I think I've done my scores wrong here. I can see, look, that pleat should come a wee bit further over. But no one else knows that, just me. You know, whoever receives this card is not going to look at it that closely. We've never done one, Jackie. You know, I do, I've done them. I did them long before I discovered stamping up as well, yeah. But I could obviously didn't remember measurements. So I played about scoring a bit of paper and I just cut 12 by whatever, did the scores and then pleated it and say, right, so where, where would that need to be to fit across my card? So that's what we've done. So there you go, two cards, Sunday afternoon. Peace. Easy. But I've still made a mess. I've made it a mighty mess. But at least it's not a dirty mess, it'll soon get tidied up. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoyed your receipt by the fire and chatting to your pals. And I hope you had something nice to eat and drink. And we'll just, oh, I can find the door. This is, I'm not sure how I don't know what point I did that. Do you? Okay, I'm going to see if I can find it. Let you see down. Yeah, we'll see you over at Barry and Jay's at Matuso Crafts. So, yeah, thanks everybody for coming in and sharing. Yeah, I appreciate your company while I craft. I'm going to get some dinner because I'm hungry and I need to go to the wee girls room at spell. So, bye everybody. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday.